We're going to do a brief video on SQ stock, SQ stock analysis, and this is Block Inc. We've got a daily chart up here for you with a green five day moving average, a red 20 day moving average, and a blue 200 day moving average. Let's go back here and take a longer term view, real quick. The stock put in a high back in uh, August of early August in 2021 of about $289 came down here and tested in October and early November, tested the 200 day moving average, which as you can see at that point was beginning to go a little flatter, violated the 200 day moving average and went into a bear market. If we expand this out a little bit, we can see it respected the 200, uh, the uh, 20 day moving average beautifully, went into a classic bear market decline and declined from approximately 242 down to about um, 82 bucks, which is a tremendous decline for this stock. At that point, it had gotten too far away from this 200 day moving average and it started to do two things. It rallied up to get closer and back in line. You can see this area right here is fairly consistent compared to this area was the triangle. And whenever you see these widening triangles uh, off the 200 day, you're going to either get a sideways movement or a rally up. That's usually what happens. So you can see we got kind of both corrected the stock and it went back down to a new low here into May of 2022. From that point, this stock's essentially been sideways, going around $73, $74 back and forth. And it's doing the same thing. It's coming across. It's too far away from the 20, from the 200 day moving average. And it's working itself across to make a test of the 200 day, which is probably what it's in the process of doing right now. Now, if we take a look at this stock today's up uh, about almost $4 on about 7 million shares. Normal volume is about 15 million shares. It's almost two o'clock today. So the, the stock's up almost four bucks. 5%, 5.5%, but only on a little less than half its normal, um, uh, half its daily volume. And of course, we have uh, two hours or so left to go in the market, but it's, this stock's up, but it's not up on great volume, which tells you something. And what it tells me is there's not a lot of energy in this stock. If you look back here, your um, daily volume is around 10 bucks, excuse me, your daily volatility is around $10 and sometimes more. Um, back here in August, through August, daily volatility is you know, $5, $4, $5, $6, some days even uh, less, $3. So there's not a lot of energy in this stock. There's not a lot of enthusiasm in this stock right now from the buyers. I'm sure they're, they're thinking about trying to put the stock back into a bull market. Um, we've got this low here back in June of $56. You can see it came down here to about $63 and it's bounced back up. But if you look, this, the price is still, it's just touching a 20 day moving average right now. So the 20 day moving average is essentially still above price. And of course we're the price below 20 day moving average, below the 200 day uh, moving average. So it's not good technically what's going on with this stock, low volatility, not great volume and the beginnings of a rally. So I would say that um, best case right now, I would say you could get a test of this stock uh, up to the $93 level. That's not that big of a deal here on this stock, but you could probably get a test up to the $93 level on this stock. Um, but I wouldn't expect it to do much more unless the 20 day moving average gets below it. The five day average gets above the 20 day and we get some wider uh, daily ranges here that are consistent, not just one or two, but a consistent increase of the daily range to five to eight bucks a day, showing us some more volatility, some more interest in this stock. Uh, whether or not this is going to happen is anybody's guess. This stock, if you scrunch this back down, you can clearly see it's still in a bear market. We can easily go up here a little ways, say by the end of September to the 91 area, test the test the 200-day uh, moving average and go right back down and make new lows. That could easily happen. Uh, conversely, we could continue to do pretty much what we've been doing and just oscillate back and forth around the $74 level in price. So that's my best analysis right this second. I don't have a firm conviction one way or the other on this stock, but it could easily come up here and test this most recent high of uh, $93. Although again, it doesn't have much energy and it'd have to get some energy to do that. If it did that, it would probably do it around the third week of September. So again, all, all for uh, entertainment purposes only, all of my uh, opinion. Let's go down and see what RBAM Research says about this stock. We do cover it. Uh, they're still calling it square. I think they changed the name to block, but um, we have it in here as SQ. And as you can say with most of these stocks today, our algorithms are showing that this is not a buy today. Um, and uh, there's a lot of reasons for that, uh, or could be for that, but essentially it's saying that for most of the stocks in here today, 
it's not a great day to buy. Uh, normally, these are populated about four times, three to four times a week, about 80 to 90 percent populated today. They're not. We can see up here Apple's populated today. The way this works, they come out every morning before 7 a.m. You can see today's uh, the ninth and it's out for the ninth. Um, 190 stocks we cover and there's one five and 20 day holding periods. The way it works is if you were to make your own analysis and say it's a good uh, price range of 152 on Apple, 153, 154 or so for these holding periods. If your own analysis said it was a good idea, you could come in here and buy, hold for one trading day, close at the end of that one trading day, which would be um, Monday in this case, because today's Friday. Close it out at a loss if you didn't take a profit sooner, but take your profits as soon as you get them. That's the way this works. Uh, buy, take your profits as soon as you get them if you do, otherwise close out at the end of the prescribed holding period uh, at a loss. And that's the way these work. Again, for entertainment purposes only, you have to do your own analysis. Uh, 20 day would be the same day. If you bought in this column, you'd buy and then close out worst case after 20 trading days or take your profits as soon as you got them if you did. You can get all of these stocks plus a lot more at rbanresearch.com. They're free, absolutely no credit card required. We cover 190 stocks, longs only. We cover shorts or longs for the major Forex pairs, BTC crypto, and the most active futures. Again, they're out by 7 a.m. Monday through Friday, and they're absolutely free. There's a link in the description below to rbanresearch.com. You just follow that sign up and you can see them whenever you like. They're refreshed again every morning before 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. If you have a great comment about how we can improve these videos, please let us know in the comment section below. Keep in mind everything you've seen and heard here, including the analysis and our entry prices are for entertainment purposes only. You have to do your own analysis. Can't use our information for anything other than entertainment. And you definitely trade at your own risk.